evening and welcome to Sunday Vespers. Last Sunday we looked at the parable of the lost sheep and the context of children. Luke puts it in a little bit different context and I'm, I'm pretty sure that the reason is because well there's there's just certain stories you tell more often than others and sometimes we think that Jesus only told a parable once and no th these were stories that he probably repeated as he went from place to place to place. And, and so it was a different context that he would share the, the same stories. Um, I know I'm very careful, or at least I try to be, not to share the same illustrations and stories here in, in my parish um, that I've shared in the past. Um, though every once in a while, one is so good, you just gotta pull it out. And it's been years since people heard it, but, but if you're going from place to place, it's different. It, it's a new, new crowd, new, new years to hear it. So, so Jesus used the, the parable twice, I believe, um, at least, most likely more often than that, I think this may be one of his favorites. Um, and in this context, in, in Luke's context, chapter 15, um, verse 1 says, Now the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to him, to hear him. And the Pharisees and the scribes murmured, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. So that's the context this time of this parable. Because immediately, verse 3 it says, so he told them this parable. What man are you having a hundred sheep if he has lost one of them? Does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one which was lost until he finds it. And when he's found it, he lays it on his shoulders rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors, saying to them, rejoice with me. I found my sheep, the one that was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance and so there's several things going on there as jesus is addressing the the hypocrisy of the scribes and the pharisees but more importantly he's addressing the need of of common humanity of all of us um, he was eating with tax collectors and hanging out with sinners and um, and they were looked down upon by the the religious elite of, of the time but jesus understood that if they're lost i'm going to go be with them i'm going to go seek them and the message here for us as Christians is um, if you know lost people, uh, don't stay away from them. Go seek for them. Share the good news. Tell them about Jesus. Tell them about God's grace, about his love, about his forgiveness, about how much he cares for them. Because he wants to seek them um, and find them and bring them back and they'll be rejoicing in the fellowship. Um, one of the things I have seen over the, the almost 50 years of pastoral ministries, one of the things that, that enables the church to rejoice the most is when we see sinners repent of their sin and find salvation in their lives. It, it, it helps the, the whole climate of the church more than anything else to, to be um, filled with the, uh, the hope of what God can do. So church, let's, let's keep seeking. Let's go seek for folks who are lost, who, who need the Lord and be patient with them and, and, and bring them back to the kingdom of heaven where uh, the Lord will receive them in their forgiveness. Heavenly Father, thanks for this very, very simple but very powerful little parable. And uh, Lord, uh, as we saw last week about um, seeking for children, Lord, uh, this week the emphasis on seeking for all those who are lost, and, uh, the, from the youngest child to the most seasoned senior adult um, who need Jesus in their life, who need the salvation of God, who need new life. Help us, Lord, to be shepherds who seek. Um, as you call us to, to bring the lost to you. We ask it in your name. Amen. God bless you. See you next week.